Alright, so today we're going to install a battery charger. My, my battery charger went out uh, when I was charging it this last week. Um, so I got three batteries. I bought a three bank charger uh, from Bass Pro. It's the same one that's in there, so it should be a pretty easy fix. Um, you're just basically taking the old one out and connecting the new one up uh, to the three batteries. Now, the one thing that is important is there is one specific bank that's made for your starting battery, so your big engine motor battery. Um, and then the other two are specifically made for your trolling batteries. Uh, so you need to make sure that those are connected properly. I would think that if you would do it uh, the wrong way, it probably blows the charger up or reduces the life of the batteries or both. So uh, I'll show you how to do that. I'm just getting everything taken apart here. And uh, we're going to hopefully get this battery charger installed so I can get back out in the water. Thanks for watching. So here's the charger I'm using. It's an XPS. It's a triple bank. Um, and what I said before, well, the way I'm going to hook this up, this is going to be the engine battery. So this is going to go to the engine because I only have one engine battery. And then these two are going to be going to the two trolling motor batteries. So it's, it's important that you do it that way uh, per the diagram. But this thing has worked really good. Uh, it just shut off, and I'm assuming that it, it probably just let loose. I'm sure it's probably six or seven years old. Um, so I just got the same one, so I won't have to do any drilling. Um, I, it should fit right in in the same spot. But again, make sure when you hook these up, you review the wiring diagram and put them in how they're supposed to go so that you don't blow or cause any problem for your battery or the, the machine. So here it is, and then we're going to get get installing, and we're going to remove this old one. Um, and stay tuned, and you can see how this Here's is Here's my battery compartment. All I did so far was, you can see, I just took the screws off, uh, the hold downs. This is my starting battery, and these are my two trolling batteries. Um, and you can see, for the wiring diagram, these two, so these top two, right in here, these top two go to the trolling motor battery and this third bottom one goes to the starting battery. And we're gonna put it in just like that. No jumpers needed. Uh, it's very simple. So basically all we're gonna do is get in here and uh, it's just screwed in with four screws. And we're just gonna get in here and take these screws out of here. Hopefully we can get in here. If it comes out, oh, I might need. Must have worked. Okay. I wonder if I can get in. I can't. Okay. So let me just get in there and. The one thing I like about this boat, I mean, she's an older boat, but it definitely has a lot of room back here to do stuff like this. So that's it. She's already out. And then, just take her out. And we're going to put her off to the side. I'm just going to use the same screws that they used to put it in. Um, and we'll just take our new charger. Put it in here. And we're just going to use, like I say, we're just going to use the same holes. Um, actually, you know what? Let's get this out of here, and let's get these undone. So we're going to get these all undone. And then it'll give us a little more room to, to operate in there. 
this is really easy because we don't have to drill any holes. We don't need the template. Um, it's the same charger that I had before. So we shouldn't, it should be as easy as it gets for installation. Um, so let's put this in here. Okay, there we go. And these two. The two that I unwrapped are gonna be my trolling batteries. These two here. And then this one, this one is my main engine battery. Um, and you can see it's just, it's the last one out of those two. Um, so yeah, we're just going to screw it in. And once we get her screwed in, that's uh, pretty much all she wrote. I'll start it. Okay, that sucker's in. I mean, this is kind of easy. I mean, I, I guess if you were doing it from scratch, it would be a little bit more difficult. Um, because you would you would have to, you know, use the template, make your holes. Um, but seeing as though this is the exact same one, it's actually pretty easy. So... I was actually really happy with it. It was working fine. And uh, it was working fine. I had no issues with it until it stopped working. Okay. And now she's screwed in. The old one we can throw over there. And now we can connect her up. And basically, it's just going to be the reverse process of what we did taking it off all the leads. Um, and you do just want to put this on there, positive to positive, negative to negative. So this is how this guy goes. Just like that. This is going to go on here. Again, very easy to do. guys up and we try and keep them covered as best we can and then we've got our next one here going up the chain and uh, same thing just positive to positive negative to negative These I actually had wing nuts and regular nuts. So I'm just gonna keep those on there. And kinda keep it just the same general way that it was. Try not to have this too kinked here. There we go, a little better. And we'll tighten this up. And then hopefully when we plug it in, it'll turn on and you'll see it's got a nice indicator too. So there's on the on the uh, charger itself, you'll see it's got a nice little indicator that uh, tells you when it's conditioning 
when it's discharging and then again when it's ready to fish um, there's another there's an indicator light it's a green light that just says you're ready to fish so and then we get our last one here kind of I'll probably come back after all is said and done with this guy and I'll probably zip tie all this together uh, just to make it nice. For now I'm just going to put her in there. I just want to make sure it's charging because I'm supposed to go fishing tomorrow. So I want to make sure that it's done and charging when my batteries are charged for the morning. on, get our and we're just going to get our plug out it should be ready to go and you'll see the only, you know, that only thing that I needed to do, it's, it's all positive to negative except your bottom lead here is your your starting battery um, and that's how it was hooked up before and so now all we got to do is take our plug out and let's see if she works here. I got my cord right here. So let's grab that up here. And hopefully she works. There she is. So now you get your blinking red light. See, it means it's charging. I mean, it's discharging. And then you'll see it's got your battery type there. And uh, yeah, that's done. And then when that, that's green, this will turn blue and this will turn green and it'll be go fish so that is it that's all it was to install this battery charger so we're good to go batteries are charging uh thanks for watching and hopefully you know this helped you in case you uh you know have a battery that goes out so thanks for watching all right so there you have it we installed the charger now again if you were doing this without having one already installed it would be a little bit more difficult um, but seeing as the fact that we could get the exact same battery charger, um, put it right back in the same spot, and just uh, wired it per the di uh, directions, really. Um, but hopefully you found that a little bit educational so that uh, if you ever run into the same problem, uh, you could do it yourself. It's really easy, not that hard at all. You just have to pay attention to where you put the wires uh, so that you don't hurt your batteries or hurt the brand new charger that you just bought. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos. Thanks.